In this video, we are going to look into paired sample t-test. A paired sample t-test is conducted when you want to check if due to certain intervention, there has been a change in respondent's behavior. Now, for instance, here are a few situations that are appropriate where you could use a paired sample t-test. A teacher wants to know if there is a significant change in student scores after receiving a training on SPSS. A manager would like to know if machine losses have decreased after installing the new equipment. A marketer would like to know if sales of a particular product have increased after the new marketing campaign. An educationist wants to investigate if teacher satisfaction score have changed after enhancing the work environment. In each of the above mentioned scenarios, we could easily see that, there, that the researcher would like to see if there has been a change in the value of a continuous variable, if it is measured on two different times. For change, we have one old value that is compared against the new value. Now, for instance, if we take the first scenario, we would like to evaluate the change in student scores. Now, student score on SPSS is recorded before training and it is also recorded after training. Now both the scores are compared to see whether or not the students have improved after the training. In short, paired sample t-tests are also referred to as repeated measures technique and is used when responses of the same people are tested on two different occasions to check whether there has been a significant change or not. In this case, we will take the first scenario and use some imaginary data to evaluate whether or not there has been a significant change in student scores. In order to run paired sample t-test, we've got this before data and we've got this after data. So we go to analyze, we go to compared means and we go to paired samples t-test. Now we add the before data select before and add it to variable one or it's automatically added to be variable one and after data is added to variable two do not need to do anything else just press ok so once you press ok you are presented with three tables for the purpose of this video we are only concerned with the first table and the last table the paired sample statistics table and paired sample test table we are not concerned with the correlation bef in before and after situation whether the score uh, before and after were both high or low or what was the relationship. Now, paired sample statistics. Before the training or before the training on SPSS, the mean score was 6.12 for the 50 respondents. But after the training, it increased to 12.56. Now, in order to check whether this increase is significant or not, we have to come to this table, paired sample test table. Now, if we look, there has been a difference of 6.445. So after the training, there has been an increase of 6.445. The standard deviation is 4.042. But we are interested in is T value and the significance. The T value is greater than 1.96. So we can say, yes, there has been a significant change. But whether the change was an increase or decrease, obviously it was an increase because the after score is higher and it was significant as well now there is one thing that we should keep uh, our eyes on is that we have to calculate the effect size from the results we can easily conclude that the intervention significantly changed the student's ability however the results do not provide information with regards to the magnitude of the intervention's effect so in order to calculate the magnitude we can calculate the effect size statistic the procedure for calculating and interpreting eta square which is uh, used for effect size statistic is described here here is the formula what we need is we need t value and n value so we've got the t value which is 11.273 and we've got the n value which is 50 the number of respondents so what we do is we put in in this formula here so t square divided by t square plus n minus 1 so minus 11.273 squared divided by its square plus n minus 1. So the result is 0 
Now, the guidelines provided by Cohen 1988, they show that if the score is greater than 0.7, it's a large effect. So the value that we got was 0.72. So we can conclude that there was a large effect. There was a substantial difference in test score before and after the intervention. So once the students were trained on SPSS, there was a significant improvement in their ability to use SPSS. Now, how do you report the results of Smart PLS? Sorry, the results provided by Smart PLS. So we need these two tables. So we copy them and put them here. So this is the template that one can use. A paired sample t-test was conducted to evaluate the impact of SPSS training. So here you mention the intervention. The results showed a significant increase or decrease. So in this case, it was an increase. So we have used the word increase in the marks of the students. So what were the marks before? And what were the marks afterwards? What was the t-statistic? And this is the t-statistic. This is the p-value. It should have been less than 0 0.001. The mean increase in the test score was 6.445 with 95% confidence interval ranging from minus 7.59 to minus 5.29. So there is no zero in between. This means that the results were significant. The eta square 0.72 indicated a large effect size. So we can easily format this table. Obviously, it's strongly recommended. Do not just copy and paste your results from SPSS. Always format them in a proper manner. So what we can do is, here it is. So let's, uh, <coughs> sorry. So we'll put this after here and we can just copy the mean values. And we can copy this standard deviation. Sorry. Okay, let's copy the mean and put the mean here 6.12 before and 12.56 afterwards. And the standard deviation is. 2.647 before and 3.465 after. So this is the mean difference. And we'll select this and put in center. Okay. And now we do not need this table. So we'll remove this table. not need this because there is only one pair so we do not need this pair detail and if we remove this we will have some space so here it is okay now we do not need this this line as well okay say we change the layout a bit orientation to landscape okay so here are your results formatted or we can further format it into a borderless table as we normally do in our research papers Here it is. So here are your results. Here is your table well formatted. Here is your interpretation. So this is how you can use a paired sample t-test and interpret the results. I hope the video would have helped you understand the concept of paired sample t-test and how to report it. Please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.